Hi everybody. If you asked a hundred Bio2 students what their favorite practicum was in Bio2, probably a bunch of them would say the plant practicum. But also out of that hundred, a whole bunch of them would say their least favorite one is the plant practicum, which always kind of surprises me. And I think part of the problem with that is when we first learn the plants, we go around the sanctuary and on campus and we see things like this Indian hawthorn outside of a Petco and we see our bladder pod here in our wildlife sanctuary. So we see these in their sort of natural kinds of environment and we get used to that. But then the problem is on the practicum, you get chaos. You get these pieces of things. You get plants that look like five different things that are old and squished. And so you have to get used to that. It's not going to be like walking around outside. It's going to be more like chaos. All right. So to give you an idea of maybe where you're at on this, take out a piece of paper and maybe number it from one to 13 or 14. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the plants like this and have you try to name them.
All right, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you those same plants and I'm going to show you the name this time. So here's the first one. This is a black sage that is in the mint family, the Lamnaceae, and it's an important butterfly flower. And our next plant, number two, is Encelia. This plant is also called brittle bush and it is in the sunflower family and it can be confused with this next plant right here which is white sage they have very similar looking leaves white sage is in the mint family next up we have two more plants that can be confused this one is sugar bush And then also similar to sugar bush is this plant, which is lemonade berry. All right, next up, we have this plant here with the taco shaped leaves. This is Laurel Sumac. And this plant right here is called Mule Fat. It's in the Asteraceae family or the Sunflower family. It has three parallel veined leaves. And then we have this plant here with its cream colored flowers. This is Elderberry, which can be used to make elderberry wine. This plant is California buckwheat. Flowers that last all through summer. This plant right here is California buckeye. And this one's actually quite tricky from this view here. It has compound leaves that have five smaller leaflets. And it's kind of hard to tell from that. This plant right here is called bladder pod. We saw this actually in the beginning. It has compound leaves and yellow flowers on it. This plant right here is called silver dollar eucalyptus. And it has these round leaves that are shaped sort of like silver dollars. And this plant right here has our flattened petiole. This is Fremont Cottonwood, an adaptation to wind. And this plant right here is called Coyote Bush. It's also in the Asteraceae family. It can be used for starting fires if you're out camping. All right, in our last three that were just sort of laying out on the table are actually repeats of some of the other ones we saw except for maybe this first one here um, okay we have blue gum eucalyptus followed by black sage and then the last one is lemonade berry all right i hope that helps everybody get an idea on what's coming up on the bio2 practicum on the plants and that you're feeling pretty comfortable at being able to identify plants from some of these small pieces rather than just identifying the whole plant when it's out, say, on campus. Good luck, everybody, on practicum number two.